Hey everybody, welcome back to our tutorial series on building a neural network from scratch. When we left off, we had just finished training up our model over a thousand epochs and saw that it reached a pretty high accuracy. Today we want to take a look at where does the model go wrong? What exactly does it screw up? Is it something we would mess up ourselves? So we already have all of our code here. Uh, really all we have to do is add a few extra lines and then run our model to see what we get for the mistakes that the model makes. So I want to call your attention to this line here where we actually predict the output and then use that to find the predicted accuracy, the accuracy of the predictions. So what we want to do is pass out the um, ar uh, array of predictions for the last iteration, our final epoch. And so then of course we have to add that here and then we can actually plot the uh, plot the cases where the neural network screws up the classification to see what it looks like. So let's go ahead and pick out the misclassified images and so this will be the subset of images where the um, test values and the predicted values are not equal, right? So test Y is the um, test subset after we've done the training and Y predicted is what we've um, come up with on our last epoch, which should be our most accurate. And let's go ahead and get 25 of those examples. And then we want the correct labels, right? We want to know what we're doing. So that, of course, is just the test Y labels, where they're not equal to our predicted Y labels. And again, we'll only get 25 examples. And then we want the misclassified labels. And that's where we predicted something that was not equal to the actual and not 250, only, 200, or only 25. So then let's go ahead and plot that. Plot.subplots. And we're going to do it 5 by 5. Make it nice and square. And then go ahead and flatten it. And then we'll go ahead and print them, uh, plot them. We're going to get the actual image, and remember, ha, remember that we have reshaped this into a flattened array, so we have to go ahead and get back our matrix of Im of, of pixels. Uh, what we want to do is show the image with, let's say, a gray color map using nearest neighbor interpol interpolation. And we can go ahead and set the title of that so we know what we're looking at. So we're going to go ahead and indicate the actual label as well as the predicted labels. So we'll use percent %d, that's our test label, percent %d will be our predicted label, and another percent D. And then I plus one is classified label sub I. So that's that. Set our X ticks to be nothing because we're not actually plotting anything that would require ticks, right? So we're going to go ahead and run that. So we'll let this run for a thousand epochs. And oh, one last thing, I want to print out the final accuracy. We left that out previously, so let's go ahead and do that now. And it'll be the 999th because 
the epochs go from 0 to 999. We've got 1,000 epochs. So that'll tell us our accuracy. It's We didn't print it out last time, but I believe it's north of 97%. And so we're going to go ahead and execute this. And this should start running. And I'm going to go ahead and pause the video while this is training because this takes a little bit of time. Be back in a second. Welcome back everybody. The model has finished and you can see we achieved an accuracy of about 96%. Not too hateful, all things considered. Here's our familiar plot of how the cost function decays over time and the accuracy increases over time. Let's see how the model did with its visualizations. So here we have our 5x5 five five grid of predictions and actual values. So this one's pretty bad. The training label was a 4, which I can see, and it predicts a 0. So it's kind of interesting how the neural network picks out features for what it thinks a number is. This one is clearly an 8, and it comes out as a 2. I can almost see it, right? It has this horizontal segment segment here and a, and a curved segment here. Here this one kind of looks like a 9 if you disregard the upper part. And you can see that in general a lot of these are rather confusing and it's understandable how the network might, might get confused. Now of course there are many ways of fin fixing this, right? We can add in extra layers, we can add in extra units, we can even add in things called uh, a technique called convolution. That's kind of beyond the scope of this particular tutorial series, but perhaps we'll get into those things in future videos. So that wraps up our tutorial series on creating a neural network from scratch. I hope this has been informative. In future videos we'll get into other topics, but to make sure you get those, hit the subscribe button. And if you like the video, make sure to like the video. See you guys next time.